Monday. We have had a very productive morning. I have quite the setup going. It looks so fresh. Our premier just announced that we are going into a seven day lockdown. Yeah, okay. Hello my friends and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Happy Monday. I'm finally starting the weekly vlog off on a Monday, getting my butt into gear. Um, it's currently 20 past 10. I'm just waiting for our training to resume. We just had a quick 15 minute break. I am training for my new role today and tomorrow and then I officially start on Wednesday. So this is where we're getting into like the nitty gritty meat of the training, like actually learning about the product and um, just stuff that I actually don't know. If you guys watched a couple of vlogs ago, we had a couple of days of training and it was just all like a refresher of everything I'd already learned very recently. So now we can get back into it. Yeah, right now I'm just about to log on. I thought I would just say hello. I have quite the setup going at the moment. I've got my laptop, my computer screen, my personal laptop because I was doing some editing on my break. And then I just got this gorgeous pen holder from TK Maxx on the weekends. So I can finally have my desk organized somewhat. And I've got my planner, just, you know, really feeling like a girl boss. I feel like it's really hard to talk about my work because it is so confidential and like day to day you're dealing with people's insurance policies. So it's like a very private, secure thing but i guess i can talk about the training a little bit so the activity we're just working on at the moment is going through our product disclosure statement and learning about the new product finding answers to questions that a customer may ask and just learning about the features and benefits of the new product because it is quite different to the one we're used to so yeah i'm just going to do this for the next hour or so i don't know i find this interesting it's probably not interesting to the average person i know before i worked in insurance i never read through a product disclosure statement i would look at the key things just to know kind of what I was purchasing but other than that I was like okay this is like a 60 page document there's absolutely no way I'm reading this um but you would be surprised like what is and isn't in there like I think it's so important to actually thoroughly read through because you would be surprised <laughs> or 3.36 to be precise. I've just finished work for the day. We got to finish a whole hour early, which is just the best news ever. They were having some issues setting up our logins. So we got to finish early, which is great. It means I can hopefully finish editing and uploading last week's vlog so I can get that up tonight for you guys, which I didn't think I'd be able to do. So we love that. I just got a package in the mail. I thought I'd show you guys what I got. I ordered these on Friday, I think it was. I got a new pair of sneakers because my black, I don't even know what they are. I think they're the Adidas NMDs. I'm pretty sure. Let me show you guys. This is them. I don't even want to touch them because they're gross. I think they're the Adidas NMDs. I don't really... I'm not a sneakhead, so I don't really know. <laughs> All I know is that these... Who's calling me? Don't recognize the number. Don't want to answer it. Was that just me? I refuse to answer a call if I don't know who they are. I just get spooked. I'll just wait until they hang up. 
and I'll Google the number and if I have to, I'll call them back or if they leave a voice message. But otherwise, absolutely not, not for me. Anyway, these are my old sneakers. I'm pretty sure they're the NMDs from Adidas. Um, they were a gift from Nick a couple of years ago for my birthday. As you guys can see, I they're well loved, well worn. Look at the bottom. Like this was starting to become an issue. I was feeling no support. So I ordered a new pair. These were actually on sale and I got the exact same but in white. They look so fresh. This is probably the best they're gonna ever look because they probably will not be staying this white. But I love nothing more than like a crisp white sneaker, especially for like the gym with like black leggings. I think they look so cool. And these are the comfiest shoes ever. They were only $140, which is not too bad for a pair of sneakers. I don't know why they're on sale. They're probably like an old version, I'm guessing, but yeah, 140 bucks. I didn't think it was too bad. I might also get a black pair just for safety reasons. <laughs> I can't really be trusted with like white sneakers all the time. So yeah, that is what I got. Um, I'm now going to finish editing last week's vlog. We're going to go food shopping tonight. We kind of wanted to do something um, fun because it is our three and a half, three and a half years. It's like our half year anniversary, which is so lame, but we didn't really celebrate our three year anniversary because we kind of forgot. And Nick was busy with cricket, obviously. If you're a cricket wife, girlfriend, I'm sure you understand the pain. So yeah, we kind of wanted to do something, but I think we might save it for later in the week. Um, Adelaide has some light festivals on at the moment, so we might go and do that if COVID permits. Um, they've just announced that there's been a positive case here in South Australia. So there's a press conference at four. We'll see what happens throughout this week. Hi guys and happy Tuesday, or not so happy Tuesday if you're here in Adelaide. We just, or our premiere just announced, sorry, it's so sunny. Um, our premiere just announced that we are going into a seven day lockdown. So that's fun, isn't it? Honestly, really can't complain, especially when other states and other countries have had it so much worse. We have truly been the lucky state and I don't know how we haven't really had a lockdown thus far. Like we've been very, very lucky because we have been so lucky and so fortunate throughout this pandemic. I feel like everyone has been very complacent, myself included. Um, so it's a little shock to the system. Honestly, my life's not really gonna change that much. Nick will just be working from home, which he does every now and then anyway and has done a lot in the past. He's just been working in the office a lot the last few months. But other than that, like my life's really not gonna change a whole lot. So I have nothing to complain about. Very thankful, obviously thankful to still be in work at a time like this. And uh, yeah, I'm just sending all my love to everyone that is going through it. Everyone has their own struggles. I feel like times like this really bring out the best and the worst in people. And I just feel like positive vibes, positive vibes only. Anyway, I am just on my lunch break because this lockdown was just announced like in the last hour, it has been a little chaotic because not only is the whole state going into lockdown, but I'm also starting my new job tomorrow. So it's like a whole transition of jobs, roles, kind of companies somewhat. So it's like, a weird transition, a weird time. A lot of people have been having trouble accessing their new logins. I have been very fortunate. I was actually working late on Friday or one of the latest, I finished at 5.30. And so I had someone from their IT department call me and set it up. I was like their guinea pig, like testing out the logins. And so mine are working fine. I'm just waiting for the rest of the group to get theirs working. So yeah, I'm just gonna make myself some lunch. I'm not sure what I'm gonna have. Um, oh, I think we have leftover dinner actually. Now you mention it. Yes, we do. Got some toddlatelli. We still have a bunch of dishes from last night. Let's not do that. Hi guys, happy Thursday. It is lockdown day two here in Adelaide. I don't think I vlogged anything yesterday. It was not a very interesting day. I was literally doing what I'm doing right now, which is a bunch of e-learnings. I have a whole list on this little sticky note. I've managed to do most of them. They're just so long and tedious and the online platform is loading at snail's pace it's kind of painful but i'm nearly done we were meant to start officially <laughs> yesterday so it's 1 30. i don't think we'll be starting until tomorrow which is friday but um yeah it's been a time it's been an interesting past 48 hours um we had quite a few new cases yesterday there was only two overnight today so 
I don't know. We're just trying to keep working, going for our morning walks, just trying to keep our life pretty much normal. I think we won't really feel the effects of the lockdown until the weekend when we can't like go and do our normal weekend things or like see my family. I always see them on a Sunday. But yeah, just sending my love to everyone right now, especially those that are out of work, out of income, without family, without friends. Like, yeah, it's just a weird time and a shitty time to be completely honest. How are you going? Going very well. How are you going? Got the tunes pumping while we work from home. Not anymore. Don't want to get copyrighted. Don't want to get copyrighted. Um, eh, not much to report. Can't really go outside. So grabbed a coffee this morning. Wore our masks. I was wearing a hoodie as well, so I looked a bit like a bank robber, didn't I? You did. Yeah, not much. Just, it's fucking cold. Sorry, am I allowed to swear? Yeah, you're allowed It's to fucking swear. cold. <laughs> We've um, had the heating on, like, non-stop for the last 40 hours. I just turned it off crazy. in here. Saving the planet. Done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, 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 you know, doing a bit of work. Yeah. I've been away from home for best part of a year, so this isn't really foreign to me. It's just more the idea that you can't go outside. Our lives day to day haven't changed at all, but it's yeah. the fact that we can't and that we know we can't. Yeah, although TBH, the career was on yesterday, so it was not the worst. <laughs> we'll be okay. Yeah. I just wish it was nicer weather so we could like actually go outside. Go for a run. I do not run. <laughs> Nor do I, but you know, desperate times call for desperate <laughs> Now I do, lockdown version of me does. Mm. Just kidding, I could never run. My boobies would literally knock me out. Isn't that what a sports bra is for, love? Yeah, but there's only so much support a sports bra can offer. Have you seen my boobs? Once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him working away. I hope your employer sees this. I don't think they <laughs> <laughs> I'll send it to them. Look at your little blanket. Thanks, <laughs> thanks mum for the blankie. Susie crocheted that. Show it, show it to us. That was her COVID, her last COVID project. She's doing another one, isn't she? Yeah, for Anya. We wouldn't know, we haven't seen them for years. <laughs> anyway, there's the update from Nick. He's thriving in lockdown. If you follow me on my Instagram, I'm constantly posting updates. He was watching the cricket yesterday morning as he worked. Um, he was seeing along to some Reese Maston yesterday. He's just living his best life. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to these e-learnings. Wish me luck. I kind of want to die, but I'm just so bloody draining like i think just being in front of my computer and not using my brain really like literally just clicking through it's just too much too much for me i don't think this weather helps either it's not very inspiring like look at this this is my view wow <laughs> going for our second lockdown walk of the day apparently i have no heartbeat that's good oh Wish there we go <laughs> gonna stay within 2.5 kilometer radius of your house up to 90 minutes per day it's bloody freezing, but at least it's not raining. Hi guys, happy Saturday. It is lockdown day four, I think it is. Just sitting in the car, um, Nick and I saw a window of opportunity in between the rain and the crazy winds. It's meant to storm for the rest of the day. So we went for a, sorry, this is so dusty. <laughs> yeah, we went for a walk around the block, got like, three kilometers and then Nick's just popped in to go grab us a coffee um I would go in with him but it's just a bit unnecessary like we don't really need two of us to go in so I'm just waiting in the car um and then we're gonna go home have a pretty relaxed day we have some cleaning to do some organizing to do just like stuff around the house obviously we can't really do anything else yeah just get some stuff done I might do some more reading I finished my book last night it ends with us by Colleen Hoover it was so so good. I have so many thoughts and feelings, but yeah, it was really, really good.
Hi friends, happy Sunday. I don't think I've said hello officially, so. We have had a very productive morning. We've done a whole lot of cleaning. We've deep cleaned everywhere, done the floors, bathrooms, kitchens, kitchens. <laughs> we hung up our photos, which are looking so good. And we just had a very productive day of getting our lives together. We've just come back from the shops. I had to go in all by myself was traumatic. <laughs> I hate going into Aldi by myself. I just can't handle it. Normally Nick and I would go together, but it's just one person per household. So I went all, in all by myself. And I thought I'd do a little grocery haul. I'm going to change it up this time rather than like putting everything out and showing you. I'm going to hold it up to the camera. Do you want to come in? Yeah, did you lock the car? No. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I got some puff pastry from Coles because Nick's doing a little FaceTime cook along with his mom. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Excited there? Oh. Can't wait. Um, we got some nudie juice. Look what happens when I don't go shopping. <laughs> yeah, this is like a surprise for you. I got lots of goodies. I'm sure you Blood do. orange, raspberry, lemon, and pear. Got some milk. Got some beer batter chippies. Um, they only had pork and veal mints rather than just normal pork mints. So that's why we're just using them for homemade burgers. I got a chicken breast fillet. Lots of minces this week, babe. Look at this. Chicken mints, beef mints. Got two packs of mixed berries because I have a berry smoothie every single day. Any panic <laughs> Oh, I didn't get any toilet paper. Do we need toilet paper? No, we have some. Okay. <laughs> and some unsalted butter for your little cooker log. Oh yes. Someone is thrilled. I got some parsley, a leek. We <laughs> got some bananas. Don't have any of those. <laughs> I think we might need to make some banana bread. Yeah, we're gonna make some banana bread. I got a lot of capsicums. We're making homemade pizzas. No, no more string stuff. Yes. Apples and some carrots for my dip. Oh, oh. oh no! Oh, my freshly cleaned floors. <laughs> it's okay, we do have a hoover, you know. <laughs> got some pasta. I got a couple of protein bars for work. Or work from home. Got some yeah, chocolate. Yeah, oh, this is for the fridge, sorry. So, I look so lazy right now, I'm just like. You can put it in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> some skittish. I really, I stressed when I was packing the bags, I got yeah, stressed. Yeah, because I they just go through just go through. I haven't said probably And I was not. talking to me at the same time, like we're having a really good chat, but I was like, sad, I need to concentrate. I got some golden syrup, because I'm going to make some fresh toast. Yeah. I got you some corn thins. Yes. Yes, it's the best day ever. I got some dark chocolate bits for my banana bread. Oh, right. another cold thing. I really was stressed when I was packing these bags. I got some light tasty cheese for our pizzas. I got you some um, plain flour for your cook along. I'll leave it out. Cook along. What are you making, Nicholas? Chicken pie. Chicken You're gonna leak. pie. I got some wholemeal bread, burger buns, pizza bases. Oh, I got some eggs. A garlic, a singular garlic. Wait, wait, do it to me, do it to me. Oh, yes. <laughs> that second one was quite reckless. <laughs> Got some destematas. <laughs> some tuna. I didn't know what tuna you wanted. Also, babe, they didn't have your rice packets. They were all out. Panic buyers, I'm telling you. Some jam. Got you some baked beans. Thank you. One of these is leaking, I think, but I'm not 100% sure. Where's the jam? I thought the jam went into the thingy. Yeah, in the fridge. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You're so sassy. You really don't want to cook this pie, do no, you? No, I do. I really do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, one of them's leaking. It's okay. Shower gel, hand soap. That's my bum. Okay, that's all I think. That's all. That's all. <sighs> that's all. Do you want the curry? What's that from? That's all. They're always proud. Oh, yeah. That's, that's all. a bit too quick. Yeah, you did. <laughs>